there's not now. Hmm. Must have been one of the others. Unread. Oh, there we go. With Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window, Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants Wake for a reason, and it's not for anything good. All right. When Thomas Zane fell for Barbara Jagger, it happened fast. She was young, vibrant and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man, and without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was his muse. She was his nipples. His perkiness. The nipples that he loves. And now the saggy wetness that is so old and disgusting looking. Some of the Taken retained echoes of their former selves. I'm sure they did. But these were just the nerve twitches of a dead thing. Nothing remained but a shell covered and filled with darkness. In most cases, these puppets were enough for the purposes of the dark presence. But for anything more elaborate, as with the writer, it was different. It needed his mind. And so rather than taking him over completely, it merely touched him. Whoa. All right, shit. I gotta hurry up. Uh... I stared through the bars of the jail cell. Barry stood behind me, what swaying on his feet, looking as ill as I felt. Agent Nightingale stood on the other side of the bars with Sheriff Breaker. Nightingale had a stack of manuscript pages in his hand. He seemed unhinged as he gloated. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. What? Uh, yeah, this dude's a little fucked up. Things were never as simple in real life as in fiction. I had lost count of the times I had wished there'd be a clear reason for my writer's block. Something to fight. Something to lash out on. There wasn't. I was filled with doubt. I was nothing like the hero in my books. Alex Casey had gone through his life with single-minded determination, never wavering from his goal. Even now, I was angry at myself. Angry at Alice. Angry at Barry. I was fumbling and I had no plan. Instead of me standing around, all balls, get out of here, shall we? Maybe. What the hell? Oh shit. Come on, woman. Get out of there. Holy fuck me. Okay. Ow. Can I get up? Okay, I guess I can't go that way. This is Sheriff Breaker. Over. Nightingale, over. What on earth is going on? My deputies tell me you fired at Wake and he didn't have a gun. You almost hit a civilian instead. Over. Sheriff, Wake's running. I'm giving chase. I don't have time for this. Well, make the time. You can't just go shooting at people in my town. Over. I'm a federal agent pursuing a fugitive. You want to discuss my methods, Sheriff? Make an appointment. Over. You stay right where you are, Agent Nightingale. I'm on my way. Out. <laughs> what a cunt. Okay, drop hazardous. Oh, what the hell? Oh, they're shooting flares. Search the area. Wow. Shit, I gotta go through that? I hope not. Oh, dude, here comes the darkness. Over here! I'm not over there. Jesus, God in heaven. I'm taking that dude to the place. I'm running. 
I'm literally shitting myself right here. Oh, what the hell? This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. Oh, come on. Alright, uh... Definitely can't go that way. God, this is so hard to play when Fraps is running. something in here, you little bastards. <sighs> Kinda sucks. Nothing. This guy does look really cool, though. Ooh. Ow. Alright. Escape the police. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. I gotta get to the rocks. Where is it? Oh. Piss off, dick. Oh, what the hell? sound in this game is great. The story... Oh, wow. That's really blown up. Woo! Pull back. Oh, shit. Pretty far off the edge. I haven't even been looking for pages, either. I probably missed a couple. See the lights of the radio station in the distance. Where's 
should be it. Let's get out of here and go find it, shall we? I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Yeah. He did seem pretty cool on the ferry. Okay. Now, would that be a shortcut? Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't uh, get through without a light. Uh, yeah. Where the hell am I gonna get a light from? Up here. Whoa. 